After I made a Huffy video, I received a lot of comments asking what I recommended for a good, affordable bike. Well, as you know, bikes aren't cheap, and the bike you see me typically riding costs upwards of $4,000, which I can't recommend anyone spending on their first bike. And due to the fact that most good mountain bikes cost well above $2,000, I've always had a difficult time coming up with a bike that I could recommend. So that brings up the question, what is a good, affordable bike that can do almost anything? Well, after doing a little research, I think I may have found my answer. This is the Rowdy Tokel 3. It's a hardtail trail bike with a good aggressive geometry. Since it's a hardtail, the only suspension it has is a front fork, which is actually a good thing because buying a full suspension bike for under $1,000 is not worth your money. Since it lacks a rear shock, the manufacturer can equip the bike with better quality components. This bike almost comes with everything you need. It has a 1x11 drivetrain and a narrow wide front chainring. This will give you all the gears you need so you can climb up steep hills and pin it onto the downhills. It has a decent set of hydraulic disc brakes that use mineral oil. This is handy for when you go to service your bike down the road. Bars are nice and wide which will give you a lot of stability on the trail and they are complemented by a nice short stem. A nice thing about the stem is it includes four pinch bolts which keeps the bars in place. And this is a feature I really enjoy. The most interesting thing about this bike though is that it has plus size tires. The width of these tires lie somewhere in between a regular tire and fat bike tires. Some advantages of plus size tires is that it will give you better traction on the trail while also acting as suspension. And to me, that's one of the reasons why this bike is so attractive. In a lot of ways, you have the advantages of having a full suspension bike while still being able to afford food. The best part about this whole bike though, is that it retails for $1,000. So on paper, this is a really cool bike. But how will it hold up to real world conditions? Well, over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be putting this bike through the paces. And I'm not going to go easy on this bike. I'm going to be testing it in different situations and putting it through a rugged torture test to see if it earns the PK seal of approval. And if you know me, I don't go easy on my bikes. Honestly, I'm really excited to see how this bike performs. This project will be interesting. I haven't ridden a hardtail bike in a very long time, especially on mountain bike trails. So there will definitely be a learning curve as I adapt to riding this bike. While the Huffy was a plus size bike, I didn't get to ride it that much. So this will be my first real experience on a plus size bike. So if you know anybody shopping for their first mountain bike, be sure to share this video series with them as I'm sure they'll find it very valuable. If nothing else, they'll at least get a good kick out of watching a professional idiot make a fool out of themselves on the internet. Well, looks like it's time for me to get to work and see what kind of trouble I can get into this time. As always, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today and I'll see you next time.